Hello, everyone. Welcome to KLX Shiny. Today is another episode in our apartment transformation series. And in today's episode, we're going to be tackling making our little sister her dream room. This is how the room looks. It's empty. We haven't even put the bed in. We just have put the dresser and some of her stuff in just to hold it. But we haven't started decorating anything as of yet. Finally about to move her bed into the room. First we had to of course lay the rug down on the floor and give it a good vacuum before we can set the bed frame and um, headboard up. We thought the headboard was pretty glam for the boho aesthetic we were going for in this room. So we decided to get these little white puff balls and glue those on top of the ram stones. This is the finished look. It looks so gorgeous. I'm glad we decided to go with this pill and stick. Now I'm going to hang up these cute little dream catchers that we got on either side of her window. We're gonna hang the curtain later, but unfortunately I forgot to film that. On the other wall, we decided to do a collage wall like we did in our previous video, but this one's gonna have a more boho aesthetic. I'm just going through and I found a lot of pretty prints that I liked online and I printed them out and just put them in some cheap little picture frames that I got mostly at the Dollar Tree. And it turned out super nice and it was very cost efficient. I'm hanging the last dream catcher that we bought up on the wall that we're going to be doing the collage wall on. Now I'm just going through and adding each of the pictures, making sure they're leveled in the space and is how I wanted it. I decided to make these little floral bouquets to also add to that wall, just to give it a little bit of extra. It came together so nice, I love it. Now I'm going to be doing a DIY revamp on this mirror that I previously did a horrible job DIYing. But um, since I'm passing it down to Lovely, she said she wanted me to do this floral light thing to it. So I'm gonna attempt to give it a try so she can have what she wants. I'm just prying off all of the little rhinestone and pearl things that I put at the top so that I have a flat, plain mirror to start with. Now I'm just going through and using a hot glue gun to glue these florals on the mirror. It's no technique or method. I'm just gluing it in a way that I think looks nice and it's pretty.
And now I'm just adding the little LED lights. I just glued the box to the side of the mirror and I'm taking a little string and I'm just wrapping it around and through the florals. Here's the finished project. It looks so pretty and I'm glad I decided to tackle it and Lovely loved it. The last step is my favorite part, which is, of course, decorating the room. We're going through and adding all of the different knickknacks and things around the room. Okay guys, we're coming upon the end of this makeover and it's about time for the final reveal. I love how this room turned out and more importantly, lovely loved how it turned out. I'm glad we decided to choose the color palette we did and go for the thing that we did only because it was mature enough for a teenager, but not too mature. So yeah, I think it turned out perfectly. And if you enjoyed watching us do this makeover to our little sister's room, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And turn on the notification bell so you can be notified for all our content. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.